Have you ever wondered how cats, these independent and elusive creatures, became our beloved household companions? Let's take a journey back to around 7,500 years before the Common Era. A significant shift was happening in human civilization. We were transitioning from a nomadic lifestyle to settled agricultural communities. This transition was not only a breakthrough for human society, but also initiated a pivotal chapter in the story of cat domestication. As humans settled down, they began to cultivate crops and store surplus grain. This surplus, while a boon for the humans, turned out to be an irresistible lure for rodents. The abundance of such easy prey attracted the attention of wildcats, the ancestors of our modern feline friends. These wildcats, drawn by the promise of an easy meal, began to frequent human settlements. Over time, they grew accustomed to the presence of humans, and humans in turn saw the benefits of having these natural predators around. The wildcats kept the rodent population in check, safeguarding the precious grain stores. This mutual benefit marked the dawn of a relationship between humans and felines that continues to this day. But it wasn't just about pest control. As wildcats became more familiar with human settlements, their elusive nature softened. Their independence, agility and grace intrigued humans. These creatures, once merely tolerated for their practical use, began to be admired, even revered. This shift in perception laid the groundwork for the intricate bond that would grow stronger over the centuries. So while it may seem that cats chose us rather than the other way around, it was this shared advantage that fostered the early stages of domestication. From being mere visitors to human settlements, wildcats gradually transformed into constant companions. Over generations, these wild hunters began to exhibit the traits we associate with domestic cats today. Thus, it was the lure of an easy meal that first beckoned wildcats into the human realm. A tale of mutual benefit and gradual adaptation. The dawn of cat domestication marks the beginning of one of the most fascinating relationships in the animal kingdom. Now, let's travel to ancient Egypt, a civilization known for its profound bond with cats. In this fascinating realm of pyramids and pharaohs, cats held an esteemed dual role. They were cherished pest controllers, keeping granaries free of rodents and thereby securing the food supply. But their significance in ancient Egyptian society extended beyond this pragmatic function. Cats were revered as emblems of grace and protection. Their sleek and silent movements, their piercing gaze, their nocturnal prowess. All these traits imbued them with an aura of mystery and allure. Egyptians saw in cats a reflection of the divine and incorporated them into their rich tapestry of beliefs and rituals. In fact, the Egyptians went so far as to mummify cats, a practice usually reserved for humans. These mummified cats were often placed in tombs, serving as companions for the deceased in the afterlife. They were also offered at temples as gifts to the gods. Among the pantheon of Egyptian deities, the goddess Baste stands out. Depicted as a lioness in early times, Bastet later took on the form of a domestic cat. As the goddess of home, fertility and childbirth and protector of the pharaoh, Bastet embodied the esteemed qualities associated with cats. During festivals held in Bastet's honour, throngs of worshippers would gather, bringing along their cherished feline companions. These gatherings were a testament to the deep bond between the Egyptians and their feline companions, a bond forged in respect, admiration and spiritual connection. The reverence Egyptians had for cats was reflected in their laws as well. Harming a cat, even accidentally, was considered a grave offence punishable by death. Such was the sanctity of these creatures in the eyes of the Egyptians. Indeed, the ancient Egyptians' reverence for cats was so deep that harming these creatures could invite severe penalties. This respect, this reverence, this deep spiritual connection between humans and cats in ancient Egypt, it was truly something to behold. It stands as a testament to the intricate relationship we've shared with these graceful creatures throughout history. Contrary to Egypt, ancient Rome and Greece had a more complex relationship with cats. Initially, these societies admired cats for their prowess in pest control. As farming communities developed, surplus grain stores became common, inevitably attracting rodents. Cats, in turn, were drawn to these easy food sources, 
and their hunting skills were highly appreciated. However, the perception of cats took a darker turn with the rise of superstitions. In both Rome and Greece, cats began to be associated with dark magic and omens. It was believed that they had the power to bring bad luck or even curse a household. This fear and awe of cats was not entirely negative, though, as it also served to protect them. The fear of retribution kept many from harming these feline creatures. Thus, the relationship between cats and humans in ancient Rome and Greece was marked by a duality of practical appreciation and mystical fear. This duality in perception reflected the intricate interplay between practicality and mysticism in these ancient societies. During the medieval period, cats found themselves caught in a web of admiration and persecution. As in previous eras, their knack for keeping rodents at bay was highly valued. The granaries and food stores of the Middle Ages were well guarded by these agile feline sentinels. Yet, the dark underbelly of this era also cast a shadow on the reputation of cats. Whispered tales of witchcraft began to circulate, and cats, with their mysterious nocturnal habits, were unfortunately drawn into these narratives of the supernatural. Many a cat suffered the consequences during the widespread witch hunts, their association with witches leading to fear and suspicion. Yet, even in the face of such adversity, cats remained a steadfast part of human communities. Their dual role as both protectors and outcasts is a testament to their resilience and the complexity of their relationship with humans. This tumultuous era underscored the powerful sway of superstition over the fate of our feline companions. With the dawn of the Renaissance, cats once again found favour in human society. This era, a time of rebirth and enlightenment, saw a resurgence in appreciation for our feline friends. After a tumultuous medieval period marred by superstition, the Renaissance brought a renewed sense of admiration for cats. This was reflected in the cultural artefacts of the time, from paintings to literature, where cats were often depicted as symbols of comfort and refinement. In the bustling households of the Renaissance, Cats were cherished companions, their graceful movements and soft purring sounds adding a touch of tranquility to the lively human world. Their roles extended beyond mere pest control, as they were now seen as an integral part of the family. This shift in perception was mirrored in the art of the period, with cats often portrayed lounging luxuriously in domestic settings. These depictions served to emphasize the sense of comfort and warmth that cats brought into homes. Literature too began to acknowledge the charm of these feline companions. Cats were written about not just for their practicality but also for their mysterious allure. Their sly, playful nature combined with their independent spirit made them fascinating subjects for writers and poets. One notable figure who contributed to the elevated status of cats during the Renaissance was none other than the renowned artist Leonardo da Vinci. Known for his insatiable curiosity and wide-ranging interests, da Vinci found a muse in the form of the humble cat. His sketches and studies of cats capture their graceful agility and expressive movements in exquisite detail, further exemplifying their integration into human life. The Renaissance marked a pivotal moment in the history of cat domestication. No longer mere tools for pest control or subjects of superstitious dread, cats had secured their place in the human world as cherished companions. They had become symbols of domestic comfort and refinement, their presence adding a touch of grace to the bustling households of the time. This period of enlightenment allowed for a deeper understanding of these enigmatic creatures, setting the stage for the enduring bond between humans and cats that continues to this day. The Renaissance marked a pivotal moment in the history of cat domestication as they were fully integrated into human life. The colonial expansion of European powers brought cats to new continents. As explorers and adventurers embarked on their journeys to the unknown, cats found themselves on board not as mere stowaways, but as essential crew members. Picture this. The tall ship, the vast ocean, and our feline friends, standing guard against the scourge of shipborne pests. Rats and mice posed a significant threat to the survival of both sailors and their precious cargo. 
They were known to gnaw through ropes, spoil food supplies and spread diseases. This is where the cats, with their keen hunting instincts, came into play. Their ability to control the rodent population was invaluable. These maritime mouses also provided an unexpected benefit. Companionship. They offered comfort to sailors during long, isolating sea voyages, further strengthening the bond between humans and cats. This maritime connection underscores the global impact of cat domestication and their adaptability to diverse environments. In the modern era, cats have truly come into their own as beloved household pets. The bond between humans and cats has deepened significantly, with these enigmatic creatures now taking center stage in many a home. Their charm and playful demeanor have captivated hearts across the globe, leading to a remarkable rise in their popularity as pets. Moreover, the digital age has bestowed upon cats a new form of stardom. The internet is replete with cat videos and memes that have garnered millions of views, making these feline companions viral sensations. From humorous antics to heartwarming moments, cats have become the perfect protagonists in the digital narrative, propelling them to unprecedented levels of online fame. As they continue to charm and entertain, cats also remind us of their unique historical journey. Even as they bask in the glow of modern admiration, cats still retain echoes of their enigmatic past, a testament to their enduring journey from wild hunters to cherished companions.